We may be able to squeeze out a few uh, flakes of uh, snow tomorrow, some flurries or some snow showers, or if you're above freezing, it could be drizzle, and our computer model is actually picking up on that. So we're cloudy through the night, lows in the 30s and upper 20s. There's the light blue showing up on the model. This is 7 tomorrow morning. There may be a few flurries by 7, but I think there's a better chance towards midday into the afternoon. As that cold front dives in, temperatures will actually fall through the afternoon. We're in the 20s by the end of the afternoon. And then tomorrow, or rather Saturday morning, we're in the teens to start the day. And high temps will not get out of the 20s on Saturday, but the sun will try to make a comeback for Saturday. But a very cold air mass on the way, so prepare for some real winter chill. 33 tonight, tomorrow 38. And again, flurries or drizzle, depending on where you are temperature-wise. If you're above freezing, it'll likely be drizzle, but right around freezing or close to it, we will see some snow flurries or snow showers. No accumulation expected out of this. Saturday, Sunday, we're cold. Look at those low temps. Teens to single digits, highs in the 20s, Saturday, 30s on Sunday. But watch out, snow comes in here Sunday night, and it may try to end as rain on Monday, but at this point, it's looking more likely that we'll get some accumulating snow on Monday, then another storm will be much warmer, and that'll come in here Wednesday into Thursday of next week. That snow Monday, it's still a few days out, but early estimates, two, three, maybe up to four inches of Ooh. snow, which is that would double our snow total for this winter so it far. It would finally give some people a snow day, maybe, yeah, too. It's possible, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yep.